Buongiorno! Welcome! Fiore! <laughs> Jonathan Normali! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys! And we are in 2023! <laughs> 2023, that is correct! The world is moving! The world is moving, the world is changing! And Today, we don't want to let you behind, right? Exactly, exactly what he said. Today, um, the whole point of this podcast, I think, today is we want to sort of discuss the world and uh, the ever-changing world that we are in and sort of all the new tools that are becoming available, the changes that we are seeing yeah, and how to use them and what they're yeah. about. Yeah. Well, as we said, as you said, the world is changing. We got to look forward. Yeah. And we need to... To catch up. If Definitely. not, we will be left behind and then uh, we make no money. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and that is the worst thing as a real yeah. estate agent. So I, I saw the world changing. Um, I mean, lately, basically with crypto and with uh, this new virtual mm-hmm. reality, AI, chat GPT, virtual land, metaverse, everything is changing. And yeah. what's the correlation for us as a real estate agent? Mm-hmm. And what's the correlation in real estate? So um, everybody's talking about metaverse, right? Yeah, for sure. But you know what actually is the metaverse. Do I, you know? I haven't dabbled too much, but mainly my knowledge is from you. But the metaverse, I mean, the, the way I saw it is basically, I mean, you know, a computer game. But until people started saying you're buying stuff in there, they're buying land. and Explain it a little bit. Actually, actually, you make a good point. The metaverse started from the gaming industry. Right. The real metaverse industry started in 2007 and then developed like much more in 2017. And now, because of Mark Zuckerberg putting billions into yeah, research yeah. and into de- development, is on the w- on the mouth of everybody. Yeah. Because it's cri- kind of uh, creating the branding to have people following the network effect and then go on his metaverse. Yeah. But this metaverse started like a decade ago with the gaming. People were buying uh, uh, weapons. Uh, soldiers, yeah, yeah, you could buy cars. skin and all that other stuff, and was like kind GTA of a and stuff yeah, like that. It was yeah, kind yeah. of a sort of a, of a metaverse where real people were interactive in the video games and they were living in this virtual world. You're upgrading your character exactly. in the game and, and competing between, in real life. between, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Basically, it's a parallel, the equivalent of real life yeah, in yeah. a game. So this metaverse evolved and now they want to bring it into the real life and the day-by-day life mm-hmm. of every person. And uh, everybody thinks that the metaverse is just one. The metaverse is not actually just one. There are many virtual world or virtual reality out there. You're saying different platforms. Different platforms, yeah. exactly. And there are many companies that are investing and developing those platforms and um there is a sandbox, for example, the mm-hmm. virtual world of sandbox. There is Decentraland, there is a Nifty Island, Axie Infinity, Pixeling, Star Atlas, Somium Space. Th- there are many. Yeah. And then there is the metaverse from Mark Zuckerberg, obviously, that is the one that wants to attract yeah, yeah, the yeah. most. Right. Uh, for real estate, what's our, what, what can we do about it? Mm-hmm. So uh, it's already a couple of years that celebrities or big company that are investing in virtual land. Virtual land. What is a virtual land? A virtual land is actually a parcel or a pixel in these platforms. Uh Those platforms, they create a word, limited word. word. So there is um, a certain amount of parcels. Space. So so they create create scarcity. Yeah. They create scarcity. All these companies, they are buying a piece of land and developing their houses or their stores, their shops. And there are many, there, there have been like last year when there was the crypto form or now there's yeah. the crypto winter. Everybody's, I mean, now many people are not talking about it anymore, but they were investing a lot of money in those parcels and, and by virtual land. What is a real virtual? What, how, how do you think? What is it? So, I mean, just to give you a, an outsider's perspective mm-hmm. here do you really think that is so here's how i look at it before i sort of go further mm-hmm. into it do you think mm-hmm. i don't think snoop dogg or justin bieber and all mm-hmm. these other people because do you, i personally don't know anyone that uses it well we had the example last year of snoop dogg building his mansion replicating his real mansion in the in the no i know but it, that's a one-time world. thing right like i don't think they're actually playing the game like, do you think it's just because they want to be ahead of the curve sort of on advertising? It's like, oh, I'm part of the, the I, metaverse or like... 
do you think they're actually utilizing the game, like playing the game? I think, to be quite honest, this is so, sort of, they use it as saying, oh, this is an investment. Could be an investment for them because they are the early adopter, but there's also it's another platform for them, right? to monetize for yeah, them. Yeah. To monetize in the virtual world, but to monetize also in the real world, marketing themselves of a, as, as a pioneer of right. this new... you're the forefront of exactly. it. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. And they will actually be the one who benefit the most because probably... I mean, who knows if they invested their own money or resort market yeah, and yeah, the company knows, actually knows. paid them to build their... Right. We don't know about that. That could also be a thing. But That's for example, Justin, like. Justin Bieber last year hosted a few concerts in the metaverse yeah. and they were actually selling virtual like you, you tickets to pay for, for the for avatar. Yeah, yeah, the avatar of yourself as to pay to host, to, to assist the Well, the then concert. it becomes worth it. Right. Yeah. Like if I was Justin Bieber, I'd do the same thing. Yeah. If I can do a concert in my living room, I mean, this, <laughs> on is, the metaverse. This, is a, this is a real things happening. So yeah. in the metaverse is actually like the real world. You buy the land, the parcel. This land will be transferred in a sort of um, in a in an NFT. Mm -hmm. Your parcel. I mean, when you say, okay, I, I bought a virtual land. So w where is it? Where yeah. you put it? Yeah. <laughs> it's an NFT. Do you get a certificate? Or anything? Yeah. It's so it's an, an NFT, non-fungible token. So the way you buy uh, real land in the real world, they yeah. give you transfer you a deed, uh -huh. paper deed. In the virtual world, they give you an NFT, non-fungible token of your virtual land and then you store it in your crypto wallet so in your crypto wallet you will have the crypto wallet where you store the tokens and where you store the nft and so your virtual land will be a deed nft so yeah. all the deed you have in the real world in the virtual world instead there are many nft that yeah. you store in your crypto wallet so there are pros and cons and we will talk about this a bit later but to to keep explaining you guys what is really about there are real these people that they buy land, they hire real architects to create their uh, their home. That I actually are, like, though. That yeah. I like because that you're paying. That at least is something of value. Otherwise, it's not just some some guy that made it up overnight. Like yeah, it's yeah. not like the NFTs or some guy made a fucking emoji or something like yeah. that. Where it's this I like. If they're bringing in real professionals and adding yeah. real value, they hire real architect, and then the real architect when the project is done, they hire a real dev developer of the web 3.0, oh, okay, where yeah. they where they actually build. They can do it. Dimension. Yeah. yeah. And how can we profit in this virtual world? I mean. Obviously, there is the trade, so the transaction of buying the virtual land. You can profit, meaning if the worth of this virtual land will go higher, you will make money when you sell it. If yeah. you go lower, you will lose money. So that's on, like in the real world. Yeah. Right? yeah. On top of that, you can actually rent those mansions that you are building, not only selling them. Like, for example, there is... For so, what? There, no, for there, what? if you enter in the, for example, in the Decentraland world, uh -huh. there is there is Sotheby's that has their own gallery, there is Justin Bieber that rent the arena where he hosts the concert and then he sell tickets to other avatar. Like, there is a real... Is that because, like, there's traffic? Is there foot traffic? So let's say I bought a house in there, right? Let's say I bought a house in there that was on a popular street mm -hmm. and I wanted to be, I guess, okay, if I was renting, you own a property on there, a pot, mm -hmm. like a popular one, and it has a lot of foot traffic. I'm renting it for and you if, to expose your own NFT collection. Right, right. Or your, ah. So, so if there's enough foot traffic coming by this popular home that you have because it's really cool, it's yeah. sick, it stands out. I rent it to promote my own stuff. It's actually ah. like the real world. You can rent it out. So it's, it's actually a cash generative asset as real estate. Mm. The same value as the real estate in the real world we have in the virtual world you, because you can generate rent, uh, cash flow income. So it's, it's an intrinsic value. And then you can sell it for profit or for loss in terms of how do you evaluate the profit or loss if your investment is good or not? There are pros and cons. The pros is that it's like the real real estate. The mm -hmm. cons is that those metaverse, the problem is that there are many platforms. Right. Yeah. So got to be a ne network effect in order to have those parcels be yeah. worth something. Yeah. Because if today everybody goes on Sandbox or on uh, Decentraland, then you go, I want to go because there is you. Someone else want to go because there is me. So it's the network effect. And this network effect is what creates the worth of this platform, like Instagram. Basically. Yeah, yeah, if, sure, if, yeah. if everybody move on from Instagram, then your post is worth nothing and your Instagram ads is, yeah. you know, it's yeah. not valuable. It's the same thing. So the cons, what is it? That now we are so much in the early stages that, yes, you will be an early adopter. You could be the one, the pioneer and make the most money. Yeah. But in a... In few years, 
let's say one platform will be more popular than another one. Or a new one pops up. Yeah, migrates from one to the other one. Yes, you will be. The, you were the first one, but yeah. See, basically, that, your your parcel will be worth nothing. And that that to me is the issue, right? Because look at this. So if you if you buy in if you buy if you buy a house in New York, so mm-hmm. New York is a popular city. The real estate market here is fantastic. So if you buy here, mm-hmm. you know, and and New York took a while to build and took a while to create what we have oh, yeah. here, right? It's not a popularity context. Whereas, so if you have a property here, you know, you're you're likely. Even if you lose money, you're not going to lose a ton, right? Your your property will always be it would always be valuable since it's a New York City. But if you're in the metaverse, because and we have an historic also data yeah yeah exactly that show but that, that New York is resilient. Yeah. So that's what I mean. So if you're in the metaverse and you bought a a, a platform that's popular now, mm-hmm. then it, let's say all the celebrities came together and created a new one that's way more popular next year, then you're fucked. Because you can't make a city <laughs> overnight here, right? But you can yeah. in the metaverse. You can create a new city that's all based on hype and popularity. So that to me is scary. And this is the risk on every kind of new investment. When you invest in a new company, a new app, a new world, a new yeah. metaverse, new everything. Like even uh, new cars. You, you know, I mean, this is an example. When the car automotive business started, there were over 3,000 companies. And you know how many survived? Three. General Motors, Ford, and uh, Toyota, I think. Okay. Fuck. And now, I for know. example, Tesla is the new pioneer for electric vehicle. But yeah. now, then the electric vehicle is adopted. Where there is Rivian, there yeah, is Lucid, yeah. and who knows who will be. So every time you invest in something new, there is this high risk and high reward. Yeah, that's, and, that's a good And uh, you just got to be doing your due diligence and uh, really... Take take your risk if you think it's worth your your money. It's just so early stages. And for this me. is not I think the only risk. Too early stages for this yeah. for me at least. Yeah, and this is not the only risk. The other risk is that since it's a virtual world, there are hackers. If you Hacker, yeah, hackers, yeah. if you lose your wallet, if you lose your seed phrase, you lose all, right. all your worth in crypto. Yeah. So you you need to know how to store it. Uh, is there attorneys like, involved in this? Like if I'm buying something for like. Who is involved to protect me in terms of, do I get a real estate agent that knows what they're doing within the metaverse so I don't have to do all this stuff? Right now, I think it's uh, the Wild West, meaning there are no attorney because it's the NFT world. So basically all your transaction, all your network in a virtual world is locked in your crypto wallet. So it's just NFT. a purchase. I, yeah. get, I link my wallet, I buy it. Yeah. The good part is the N- NFT, non-fungible token, is one, one only. And this code of your purchase is always on the blockchain and will always be there. The problem is that if you lose it, you lost it forever. You lost it. Forever. And if yeah. they hack you, they hack you forever. Yeah. So and it's not backed by any. There's no. What about insurance? Is there anything no. like that? Oh, yeah, that's no. fucked. The, the, <laughs> the good. The good. What we can. Uh, what? How can we work with this? And how can we facilitate this? Mm. We are not really a real estate broker for virtual land because we actually don't have a, a license for that. But. Yeah. If we are an expert in the real estate, in the virtual world, we can facilitate the transaction for new retailer that they want to come and buy or rebuy or resell or rent. So our work could be be specialized in that. And you can offer to your client a portfolio also of virtual land, yeah, virtual yeah. real estate. Yeah, and especially if it's a business, like if it's a restaurant or something mm-hmm. like that, you can also say with this, we're adding you in. Because mm-hmm. Serhan, we, we are, we're, we're active on there. Serhan right? actually, built the whole yeah. thing. Serhan yeah. actually built the universe yeah. metaverse, which is the uni- called universe. Do we have a link somewhere that we can yeah, share we with have, you guys? Yeah, we, we will share the link. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's called universe where all the agents can interact. We can have meetings. And that uh, I like. That's yeah. useful to me. Like the meetings and all that other stuff. That's yeah, useful. this is another part of the metaverse. It's not yeah. only about the real estate land. But the, so right now, what do you do? You actually have a Zoom meeting, a Zoom call, mm-hmm. or you scroll on Instagram on a screen, on a yeah. 2D screen. Yeah. What they want to do, they want to create this, like you can go on a meeting and actually interact with uh, many avatars. Yeah, many, you can sit here like you and me are sitting actually, here Actually, yeah, instead of looking at the screen and see... 10 little cubic (laughs) pictures, you can actually speak and interact with uh, almost real people. I think that will be huge. Yeah, I agree. I think that will be huge. I don't know with the with the living in metaverse, but I think that whole thing will be huge. Another thing I want to add just to give you a bit more of a knowledge process on how to buy virtual land. Yeah, 
how can you buy? You cannot buy with US dollar. Right, right. It you need to, to buy crypto, with right. crypto coins. Yeah. So each of these space, they have their own token, meaning their own coin. So for example, the central land has the token called MANA. Sandbox has the token called Sand. So do you have to buy the, so, the yeah. coin and then buy? Yeah, and coins? then with the coin, you can buy the parcel, like the virtual land, you can buy the, the vo- you, you actually buy the supply, like the piece of wood, the piece of concrete that they made it fun. I'll give it so you, you can also, <laughs> I mean, these will open up so many worlds. They, they predict that there will be so much job opening for the virtual world just yeah. for this uh, real estate virtual world because, yeah, you need to have a, an architect, okay, that's already existing, but then right. you need to have a web developer to develop the project. Then you need to have a, an actual contractor that buy the, the materials for you. Like it's really you yeah, will be yeah. really a developer. There are already developers. They were gaming of developer of games, but now they're developer now they're of real this. estate. But if, but overall though, it's not like because it's not useful. Let's be honest. It's not like I can go in there and sleep, right? So overall, the concept and the idea of it, at least what I'm what I'm gathering, is that it's mainly marketing. Like it's if, if you have a sick house in there, you're promoting yourself. If you have a super cool house in there, it's just promoting because you can't actually use it. But because now you're thinking with a business mind, which I appreciate, but there yeah, are yeah. many people <laughs> out there that they actually create their avatar and they just want to hang, and they hang, just hang, hang around. around. There are many people that... I can't get my mind r- right, right now. now, there are many people that are not really social in real life yeah. and they kind of hide and have a huge social yeah. life. In the I guess there's a, lot, there's a lot more tech people now than there were back But this day. is the first step, but then will be also for everybody. Like there are people that go there and hang out and... Just watch the Justin Bieber comfortable yeah, yeah. at home on the couch with. I didn't think of it like that, but you're right. It's because we live in New York, where everyone we know is yeah, social. everything is accessible. Everything is social, here. accessible. You were so right. Because if you go in Texas, Michigan, or somewhere like that, it's like. Uh, now imagine, yeah, if you are in a you know in a place where there is not so much yeah, going yeah. on. I didn't you, think of you, it like that. You would not fly to New York to watch no, a. No, no, you're doing concert. it on your couch. You do it on your couch. Yeah, that's. I didn't think of it like that. That's so true, actually. Though. That makes sense. I would probably do the same thing. So actually, the real bet now is believe in which platform will be the most, the, yeah. with, the one with the most users, because will be the one. I mean, there are It has to be meta. There it has to be Facebook, yeah, Instagram. It's not launched yet, but. It's not? Uh, I mean, the metaverse from meta is still building. Oh, uh, I, I think they changed one. the name on, from Facebook to Meta, to Meta because yeah. they want already put in people's yeah. head that uh, that will be the core business yeah. of the company. And they are spending billions, yeah. billions and billions. They wouldn't be doing that. It's just so cause. funny because in those virtual city, there are actually also neighbor. Like there is the, <laughs> the center, there is the... And they all have different words. It's like the real world. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. We got to do it. But this is just one of the innovation. Like there is... Like, have you heard? I mean, I'm using it, but ChatGPT, for example. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> You're using it, right? I'm using. I'm using it daily, almost now. That this one is. What's your thoughts on that? Overall, what, what was your first thought? Let's start with what was your first uh, thought when I first look at it and try it. I say, mm-hmm. oh, this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are things that I was literally taking an hour to write. Yeah. And in ten seconds, it's done. Yeah. And it's so accurate. It's, it is. Uh, and, and the more we will move forward, because, you know, the way they do it, they scrape the entire um, internet. Everything. And, and it's a percentage Everything. of combination yeah. of words. And the more we go, move on, the more will be updated. Mm-hmm. The more will be accurate. Yeah. And this, I mean, this could be scary because uh, some people say that will many people will lose their job. I think they, they will, 100%. And even real estate brokers, they say, oh, they might lose their job. Like, People, middlemen, they will lose their job. Yeah. I don't think so because Not the for human us. factor is still. Yeah, yeah, and it's, that's. I mean, with with sales things, I think is unique, right? Unless because well, it's in person and it comes to network and in real estate, there's a lot of different factors involved, right? Like on on a higher level, we need to be able like they wouldn't they wouldn't connect with an AI. What we do is basically network based, and it's knowing the right people at the right time. You know what's happening stuff, also right? in many companies because many companies they are using this AI business as a default. Now, what do you mean? I predict that soon will be like uh, I don't know Salesforce, not not AI response. Like you know, now there is organic ah, on food. Um, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. be not AI for it, it sure. Will be for not sure. AI because people will 
want and we crave for a human response human and not response. a chatbot. Yeah. Because now we are going into moving from but human brains is, to robot yeah. and soon will be not robot generated. No AI. Yeah. You will say. The question this is, is my bet. I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. I think I mean it's crazy. But I, I just I, I looked into it a little bit and the uh, and then after I after I started using it for like an hour, then I was like, okay, fuck, let me look up what all this AI stuff is. And then I started I went in down this rabbit hole of like looking at Elon Musk and all these other people scaring the shit out of me with like what AI is gonna do and how we're not prepared and how it's not regulated. I guess it's not regulated. Like you don't really control they can't really control what it's doing. And it's open um, to the public. So what happens if it's like, uh, you know, I mean, what, this you guys is really are... cool, but it's really scary because it, it can go out of ends very quickly. Yes. And, uh, it can be if it's thinking on I its mean, own. Now we enter into politics and stuff and we don't want to do that. No, no, we don't. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But or passive could be very, <laughs> could be really useful if handled correctly, like in uh, everything in life, yeah. but could be really even dangerous. Scary, I mean, dangerous. I think it's one of those things we, it's like when, when phones came, right? And, and social media and everything else. In the start, some people were very hesitant, but it's one of those things you either, you have to adapt or get left behind. Mm -hmm. And I think this, this chat thing and, and AI in general, it's a tool that's not, it's unavoidable. Like if you want to compete, let's say, let's say you're going into a pitch or whatever it may be in your day to day and you have you have that kind of tool in your pocket mm -hmm. and i don't you will i will no longer faster. be able to compete yeah you know so it, and and it's more funny. accurate but exactly so how i'm seeing the positive side of this is that everyone who's already functioning on a high level and who can i mean i guess the elite of the world right but like the, everyone who's a high a somewhat high earner and, and functioning on a high level already mm -hmm. once they add this to their tool belt it will bring us all up to a whole different level Standard. of standards. Yeah. It will elevate everything. But the gap from these guys, which us, to the other guys is going to be ginormous. Yeah. You know, so that gap is going to be crazy. So that's why we always need to be updated and keep starting. Yep. And be, yep. But I disagree on one point. Ever, they say, oh, many people will lose their job. Yeah, many people, many jobs will disappear, but yeah. many others will be created. They'll pop up. Because yeah. remember that behind a technology, there is always the technology developer. For sure, for sure. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, it's the, just a new form of the job. Security. It's just maybe many jobs will be swift from switched from uh, this kind of job to the technology side. Yeah. But that's going to be a hard transition. And also all the new generation is basically living on that's true. technology. That's true. So maybe we'll not be us, but we'll be yeah, two yeah. generations after us. Yeah. And, uh, so I'm not really afraid of uh, unemployment rates. I don't think so because either. Of that because the job will just change. Yeah. I think it's probably the more, I mean, the next generation is probably fine. I think that it's, it's the immediate ones that is like when this is coming out, you'll lose your job. Let's say like a 45 year old person or like a 50 year old person who is you know, I mean, I don't know, let's say working, um, working as a cashier lady, mm -hmm. right? We already have those self checkout things. Mm -hmm. And then once we advance more and more, those will be completely obsolete, right? And people like that don't really have a second option. Eventually, they'll get old enough. And that's that and it's just up to the new generation. But I think it's that, that group of people mm -hmm. that is going to be heard of this, like copywriting, dude, I was writing a description, like a description oh, yeah. for, for an apartment the other day, and boom, right? And I can I can even write in there, be a little witty, you know, say yeah. this, this, and that, and just wow. Yeah, but um, yeah. But I it's mean, a tool, right? It's, I think this is very cool, and I think so too. I'm all for it. And uh, we are knowledgeable enough to keep up with it. <laughs> but here's the thing: like, I was so Elon Musk is making that. Do you see that robot he's making? He's making a household robot. They already announced it. Uh -huh. It's real. Um, and I think he said like, in it's going to cost thirty thousand. I don't want to give you guys a, a, a time, but. He already launched it. He did the whole, like, you know, Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. like, this is the new innovation. Yeah, the speech, da, 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 yeah. presentation. He did that. But, bro, once you can put the AI into that thing, that's when I'm scared. Well, the chips. Yeah, there are a lot of things. that Because now it's a robot that has this kind of knowledge that's everywhere and can f can actually move and, and react on his thoughts. Well, just a few days ago, I went to Louis Vuitton uh, store and there was the Ayoi Kuzama robot painting and really? everybody thought she was there because they put the yeah oh <laughs> and she was moving <laughs> looking at you they actually interact like the real humans what the fuck? 57 and uh, fifth avenue yeah oh, on, I, the, I on the window yeah it's still there <laughs> but um and to give you the last things uh in terms of investment real estate 
whoever invested in the virtual land and in those uh, sandbox, the central mana mm-hmm. a year ago, when crypto was at the all time high, yeah. they, they didn't lose because if you don't sell, you don't lose, but right. they lost like probably 10x. Yeah. Right. Why? Because of seasonality, because of the crypto winter. I don't believe because of the project. What's because the crypto the project, winter? Crypto winter meaning bear market. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. In the stock market, you call bear market. In the crypto, you call winter, winter? and summer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. <laughs> And then nobody spends money. Everybody keep their hands uh, here t- yeah, <laughs> before they were all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the this investment went down. I think 11x was, um, yeah, was 11x uh, higher before, like literally nine months ago. Yeah. But this is because of the overall market. Okay, now yeah. Everybody's afraid, all, all the things we, we said before. Yeah. But again, as a real estate broker, as a real estate agent, giving you a real estate advice, there is an opportunity out there on the space where you can actually build your home, actually buy your land, build your home on top, resell it, or either rent it out. And um, many users, they, because you know, the, the secret is always to don't have all one eggs in one basket. Of course. Maybe um, buy a few parcels in one virtual world, few parcels in another, or few in another one. So you bet on the virtual world and then the winner will definitely offset the losses from the other. Yeah. Or you invest in, on an ETF, on a metaverse ETF, where there is the, the, all the, it's like a, a basket of all of them. And then you call it a day. That and sounds you, like and a you good just, idea. Yeah, I well, mean, wait, if you so don't want to be too specific, you just buy an yeah. ETF of metaverse. And uh, So question, if you, all these other ones, they're already out, mm-hmm. all these different ones, but the biggest one yet is not out meta. So once that comes out, these are fucked. <laughs> it takes time. Right? It takes <laughs> billions of dollars. Okay. And yeah. time. Yeah. The other one, they are already born because they started from a gaming industry. Then they just developed. Okay, so they are, they're, it's like not like Axie they're bad Infinity ones. It was good. a game. was a game. And all those gamers, they all gather together and they create their own metaverse. Axie Infinity. Star Atlas is a game. It's a okay. game of uh, like Star Wars. So right. that's why they are, I mean, Sandbox is actually a, a, a brand new one. Okay. And it's probably the most popular now with, with uh, Decentraland. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see, first of all, if this adoption will be a mass adoption. Yeah. And which one will be the winner. Which one will be the winner? You remember when Facebook started, it was only Facebook, then there is Instagram. Facebook ah, you right. Instagram, yeah, yeah. And now there is Twitter. And, There's uh, always and TikTok. Yeah, you're right. You're it's right. the same concept, different yeah. platform, different network yeah. effect. The The... The challenge, what will be? The challenge is that if you create your own avatar and you can play, let's say, on Decentraland, then you want to play also on Roblox, you want to play also on Metaverse, you want to play also on Sandbox. This is the real challenge. Having all those planets, platform, connected all together and you can fly from one, one guy with the same avatar. This That's is how what it should did, be. Yeah, but this is what they didn't figure out ah. yet because, for example, the avatar of Roblox is like a Lego. Lego oh, figure. It's hard, and so cannot it's hard go on the sandbox because it's, uh, you know, they have to figure yeah, out. Yeah. If they could figure out that, then it's, I see I'm, a bright I'm kind of sold. That. Yeah, because now you can go everywhere, right? Yeah. And they're all available. Because yeah. it would suck to have to set up a new avatar for each thing. And yeah, and then, then, you, then the whole building your character doesn't really make it's sense. It's what Facebook did with Instagram. They bought it out and uh, yeah. you now they're connected. Because then, then it's like real life. And now it starts making sense. Because if I can build up my avatar on all platforms and all the metaverse, that'd be yeah. cool yeah you know i can buy my own spaceship yeah fly around. anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and find this video helpful for you yes and we will we'll probably discuss more in the future and maybe maybe we'll even do a podcast and the maybe metaverse. the next podcast we do with the yeah <laughs> with the goggles <laughs> that could be cool <laughs> thank you guys thank you guys emmanuele fiore jonathan normally have a good one ciao <laughs>